Hey guys, Max LP Queen here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Victory Fire. So, I just want to first start off by apologizing for my last videos, or video, whatever one that you watched, that it seemed a little bit weird, and uh, I was really hitting that super speedy speedy button. Um, I just drank a cappuccino. And, uh, yeah. It was kind of strong. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say more than kind of strong. I put a lot of stuff in it, and usually they don't affect me that much, but, um, this one kind of did. And I was just all about that super speedy button and wanted to get through as quickly as possible, but in the last episode, we defeated those Team Mirage members very quickly in the forest area. We made it up here. Um, I accidentally batted this guy off screen because he was running around crazy. All he had was a Scyther. I leveled up all my Pokemon by one level. Um, and I defeated that girl there. Cut the video, cut the uh, battle out. You guys didn't get to see it, but it wasn't nothing special. Um, and I went in there and got some, got some stuff from those guys in there. Spent some of my money. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of felt like buying those TMs and stuff. And I went up this way. And the guy said up there that I couldn't go up this way until I go to Panorama Villa and um, talk to the Trick Master. So I walked up here a couple steps and I am in Panorama Villa. Didn't even realize it and now we're here. And uh, we're talking to these people here who we have no idea who they are. And uh, apparently one of them is the Trick Master from Hoenn cool, I guess. This is a, um, what do you want to call it? Oh, a hack. I didn't even remember. <clears throat> Spaced out a little bit, but anyway, this is a hack of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and all them. Anyway, so, uh, why wouldn't the Trick Master be in here? But anyway, um, we're talking to these people here, and apparently someone else has just showed up talking to Violet. So that's Violet there. She's part of the, uh, the league, apparently. And this here is Wind. And apparently he died, but apparently he's not dead. Uh, anyway. Let's see what's going on here. I'll finish you off with my Pokemon. Remember, I'm one of the Elite Four. Uh, maybe you should search your pockets for your Aren't your Poke- are your Pokeballs still there? What the- how did you- Did you find your Pokeballs? You sneaky- How'd you steal them away? This Corellia that I borrowed from Charlie is thief while you were chatting with the Trick Master. We've been hiding here for a long time. And just as I said, now you're unable to fight against us. Struggling is useless. You'd better give up right now. Fine. Corellia, send them to the base by teleport. Alright, so apparently this guy... No, whoa, 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 whoa. No, I, I didn't see nothing, buddy. Okay, apparently I did, but anyway. You better send them back right now, Wind. If you don't, I'll crush you now. Your stealing tricks won't work on me. Don't be so ill-tempered. Kid, relax. We won't hurt them. And you're pure, that kid who always breaks up our system, right? Yeah, and if you know what's good for you... Oh, and I'm defeated. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. I'm defeated so many admins in your team rush. If you're wise enough, you'll release them right now. Hmm, I know what you're thinking, but I cannot. I'm doing this just for Team Mirage. You may not know this, but I'm one of the leaders of Team Mirage, and I was once a dark type Elite Four leader. I don't care who you are, I'll crush you immediately. You mean by battle, right? Fine, as you've requested, but I have to warn you. You are no match for me. Just stop your speaking, and let's start this thing. Fine. Alright, so apparently this guy was once a member of the Elite Four, and apparently um, he also died, but now he's back to life, and now he's one of the leaders of... Well, I don't know, it's just too confusing. But anyway, um, I leveled everybody up once because this guy has two Pokemon, one of them isn't so bad. This rose right here is not too much to, you know, 
worry about. But his other Pokemon is something that we do need to worry about. But anyway, I did get the paralyzed hacks there, which is good. So we're we're doing good on that. Should be a two hit kill on this Roserade. Should be no problem. Um, anyway, like I said, I wanted to apologize for the last video and me being so scatterbrained and speed heavy. But now you know why. I was all high on that cappuccino. It was so good. And it did warm me up because it was really cold. And usually they do the opposite and they make me sleepy, but that's probably because I wasn't um, laying down when I was drinking it. Usually I like to lay down and drink some and then I'll get um, tired. Like cappuccinos and coffees and stuff, they kind of make me tired. But I was up on the game, so... Anyway, he sends out his second Pokemon, which is the one that I'm really worried about. The Spirit Tomb here, because uh, it knows uh, Hypnosis and Dream Eater. Which is super effective against me, but I figured this is like my only hope right here is to get some poison off on Spirit Tomb, and I also put a Lax Incense on Arbok so that um, its accuracy would be lowered, which is probably why it's not hitting those hypnosis. Hypnosis is that's a big one. Um, so that's good. I'm glad I actually put that on there. I wasn't even thinking I even had it in my inventory and uh, my bag or whatever. So I put it on Arbok and apparently it was a good choice because he hasn't been able to hit one Hypnosis yet. And we are taking him down slowly with this little measly poison sting move, but we're also getting the poison damage as well, which is good. And if something does happen to Arbok, I also have... Um, What's his name? Grobile on standby, who also has um, Giga Drain on him, and I practiced against this guy, which is why I knew this was the best strategy against him. Um, because Grobile's Giga Drain did the most damage, but the big thing there was him not hitting any of those hypnosis, so I am really happy about that. Anyway, we defeated the wind guy. So, now he's out of our way. He did well, Pierre, but you're still too weak to beat me. So, I decided to stop the battle. Stop? You only had two and I defeated you. What are you talking about? And you, if your Pokemon were hurt, that'd be too painful. So, I'll heal your, heal your Pokemon. Well, I don't need your healing. There's a Pokemon Center right there, but whatever. If you really want to save them, just come to our base. See ya. Hey, you wait. Oh no, they took away Miss Violet and Trickmaster. I have to save them as soon as possible. Alright, so now apparently we gotta go to the base. Which I'm guessing is this building right here. Trick House. Well, this is the Trick House, so... This should be their base. I'm guessing it's on that route there that we couldn't go on because we hadn't met the Trickmaster yet, but now we've met him, so... I'm going to heal up real quick at the Pokemon Center, and we will continue on, because there's nothing to do in this town. Alright, so I talked to everyone in the villa, and uh, wasn't really anything to talk about because they had nothing to say, so, and nothing to give me either, which was even, even more terrible or even terrible or whatever anyway whoa oh yeah he used sword dance why did I just do that jeez time to continue on I think that leads to the forest down there so we'll just keep going this way hello trainer I hope your Pokemon won't cry when they lose I hope you won't cry when yours lose Ooh, nice. I'll totally take them off your hands if you don't want them. That'll be, uh, be my pleasure. He did not just poison me. See, that's what I don't like about these people. All they do is they poison you, and they hack you, and paralyze you, and all this other stuff that I don't really care about. Just to try and beat you. It's a low trick. 
That's not gonna work. Yeah, you lost. And you poisoned two of my Pokemon. Are you happy now? Because now I gotta go all the way back up here. And I gotta heal up again. I'm so tempted to go down this way, though. I wanna check everything out to make sure we're not missing anything. Okay, so I know where this goes to. This is where that jump off was, so we'll go back up here and try this way. I think I realized why the um, the grammar is so terrible. I think it was because this person was trying to defeat, or not defeat, but like get through the game really, really quickly and not take any time on it so that people could play it. Either that or they're from a different country or something because the grammar is just horrible. Like, they don't even have correct sentences for anything and it's just, some of the words aren't even spelled right. And we're learning Leaf Blade. Thank you, thank you. So I will definitely get rid of Fear Cutter for that. Now we finally have a good grass type move. And I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center. So I'm going to use Eliminate here on oh, no. Groval, and I'm going to see if we have a berry that could help with burns. Yep, we have two Ross berries. I don't know why I keep checking the tags. So I'll use that. And Groval is as good as new. Can't go that way. So two more looks like, and we should be there hopefully. But we will probably have to do the hideout in the next episode because this one's probably been going on for a while and I want to go ahead and record some other stuff too today probably so whoa what is that well whatever it is it took me out garage that's weird and stomp. Pretty strong executor there. Oh, I don't want to register people. I don't know why I even have that thing. I'm so tired of that. I'm ready for Gibble to go level, so... I'm gonna be switching out here. Oh, that's not good. And it's not very effective, so that's actually not good. That's not good at all. Alright, what is his bite? There we go, give a good level 21 and let's learn dig. Of course you can learn dig. We'll just have to get rid of... Hmm. Twister... It's the only dragon type move we have, but it's a really terrible move. So... I'm gonna have to get rid of Twister for that. Dig will be way better. Pupitar. I'm gonna glare you. Or not. Oh, I forgot it's still the lax incense on Arbok, so that's probably why they're not hitting that many moves. But I'm getting damage from the sandstorm, so. And I died. Alright, well I'm going to have to use some healing items here, unless I want to die. Besides, Gibble will not be affected by your lame sandstorm because it is part ground type. You should know that by now, Peepitar. I really want to know what level Gibble evolves. Because I think it will be a lot stronger once it evolves into, I think it's Gibbite. Alright, so we defeated that guy. We still have more people to defeat. So I guess we'll go ahead and defeat this hunker guy. Oh, of course, you know Dig. And we'll just get out of here. Sand true, slash on you. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, whoa! 
Oh, and you four store? Well, I'm gonna use a Moomoo Milk then. You're not gonna four store on me and get away with it. Quit using Defense Cross, seriously? That's like a cop out. Just because you don't want to get hit. Well, Odyssey just want to attack them. And I'll heal up again. I really should have went back to the center, but why when I'm so close? Man, I didn't realize how high level these guys get. For some reason, I am feeling under leveled right now. And we, we have three, so we should be doing pretty well in the levels, but I'm feeling really under leveled, so. Alright, that's enough. Yeah, that is enough. There's still more to defeat. So I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center and we will be right back. Alright, so we're back. Now it's time to take on this weird guy here. A collector. And you have a Gibble too! How ironic! But I have Leaf Blade! And my Gibble's better than yours! Ooh, Miss Magius, that's cool. Wish I could have a Miss Magius. Not one that's like yours, you know, that likes to spam things and make it so I can't leave. Come on, Groval, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, there you go. Snap to the confusion. Aww. One more pursuit, that's all it'll take. Uh, or... One more? There we go. Should grow me a level. Level 30. Very happy with that. Six more levels until we evolve. And now where are we supposed to go? Down here? No? It's like a dead end. Oh, we gotta go up here. You know there's Buizo in this grass and I might want to come back here and catch one if I need me a water type. Oh, we are on Pine Path right now. That's why we're having to fight all these people. And that's why it's taking forever because... We have to go through this long path. Krogunk. I'll stay up. Slash is doing really good work. And there's some berries. I'll take those. And I'll take those. This looks like a electric type guy. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have to have made some type of dent. I hope so, because I'm really getting tired of fighting all these people. And I don't know why I have Gibble out here right now. But apparently it's working because none of those electric type moves affect me, so. Almost level 32. Almost. Looks like we are almost out of here, maybe? I see somebody up there. Maybe they're important. Good thing this guy only has one Pokemon. Uh, no, it's just a lady. Some grass here. Oh, well, that's nothing. Oh, just a cut tree. Okay. Now that we're done with all that, have you seen that huge mountain? That's Mount Skywall, the highest mountain of Tyran. Oh yeah, I think that's what he said. He said he was going to be at the base at Mount Tyran. Yeah. Now I remember. How could I not remember that? Gibble's about ready to go to level, so we'll switch out into Gibble. And we'll switch right back into Grogal. Actually, I shouldn't have done that because Wing Attack is super effective. But I didn't want Gibble to die. Just use Facade on the Scyther. Pretty strong Scyther. There we go, Gibble's level 32. And Arbok is almost level 33. And hopefully we are s making some type of dent and we are almost there. You want to help me? 
I love grass type Pokemon. Do you have any grass types? Team 19. Okay. What's that? Giga Drain. Oh, I already have that. It's on my Grovi right now. Looks like we got a, a tree here. <laughs> no, you don't look like a tree. You look like a fig tree. With his Ekans. Oops, missed that glare, didn't ya? You should probably evolve your Ekans. Moscow, well, the highest mountain the Tyrant region. Almost there! Ooh, that might be a house where we can heal up so I don't have to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center. I said, hopefully. Please be your only one. Yes. Uh, I don't want to register you. Why does everybody keep registering me? Please tell me this is some woman who will heal my Pokemon. Lady, will you heal my Pokemon up, please? Yes, yes, I will. I will rest up. Thank you. No, they're not so tired. Okay, so now where are we supposed to go? It said the tallest mountain. Oh, there it is. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, familiar voice is saying, hey, Pierre, wait. Oh, it's that girl again. Oh, Pierre, I finally meet you again. Um, what is it you say? Team Raj took away the Trickmaster and Miss Violet? That's a real disaster. We gotta do something. Instead of speaking, how about a battle? Wait, you wanna help me? But you're gonna battle me? Okay, this goes crazy. Oh, really? Yeah, you're extremely crazy, girl. I ain't ready for this. You guys are like ultra powered, and I'm frozen. Okay, good, I'm defrosted. Maybe I can live one more? Or not. Sorry, Gibble. I should have definitely healed you up there. Well, our box level 33 now. Got to paralyze. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know why I'm super speeding this. I did not mean to do that. Wait, synchronize. Shoot. Lapras. Oh yeah, I'll switch. Leaf Blade. Ooh, I screamed up for that. Shoot. Oh, that was so close. I'm sorry I super spent that, but I don't know this girl. I don't even know where I've known her from. She's going back to Panorama Villa. So she was just here to defeat me, apparently. I don't know. I don't really know her. I don't know if she's our rival or if... I don't know. I don't really remember where we met her at. I think she just like showed up one day. And she's asking us to battle. But anyway, I think we're going to end the episode off here, you guys. And in the next episode, we will go in this little cave area here. And we'll hopefully take on those Team Mirage guys and get back the Elite Four member Violet and uh, the Trickmaster. So I will see you guys in the next episode.